Do -do 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 -do. Wow. So here's the Evotech headlight guard. And ta -da -da -da, welcome to another DIY video from yours truly. Be right back. So this is the headlight guard from Evo Tech Performance that I will be installing on my Yamaha XSR900. Well look at this cool honeycomb design and the quality. What can I say guys? The craftsmanship is superb. But hold on, what's the deal? You might ask yourself. Why do I need this? Honestly, it's not only for the looks, but the protection. Yes, protection from stone or pebble, especially from where I live where they scatter gravel on the icy road during winter. This mix of gravel and pebbles will attack you, especially the headlight, when the snow melts and the riding season is on and the road are not yet clean. Anyway, let's start the installation. Use a 4mm Allen key to remove this bolt. Same procedure on this side. Then after removing these two allen bolts, we need to pull the lower part of this headlight ring to pry the clip lock at the top part inside the headlight ring. Then unplug the wire harness. Then remove the bolts that hold the headlight bolt using a 5mm allen key. And hold the black spacer in between the bracket and the headlight bolt while pulling the bolt to prevent it from falling. And then this side do the same procedure. Use a 5mm allen key and turn the bolt counterclockwise to loosen up. And don't forget to hold the bolt inside the headlight bolt. So now I'm going to use the black spacer that comes with the Evotech headlight guard because I'm going to install the motodemic bracket for the windscreen. So I'm going to use the stainless allen bolts because it's longer. So this is the stainless motodemic allen bolt. Then here's the Evotech block spacer. Apply a thread locker for added security and peace of mind. So the headlight bucket should be pulled up and make it stoop or bow for better clearance while uh, installing and tightening the bolts using a 5mm allen key. And then again installing the brackets with the same procedure as the first brackets installation. And don't forget the thread locker. Then use a 5mm hex or a link key. Then 
So as you can see it's a bit difficult to install this lower bolt. I think we're almost there. And that's it, perfectly tight. And now apply thread locker on this bolt that holds the headlight bucket and the spacer in between with the bracket. Then we align the headlight bucket. There's a pin underneath where the headlight bucket sits. And then tighten up the bolt using a 5mm Allen key. And again apply thread locker on this next bolt. Install the spacer on the bolt using a 5mm hex or allen key. Hold the nut inside the headlight bucket while tightening up the bolt. Then plug it back the wire harness to the headlight. And then install the headlight by aligning the top part of the headlight to the clip lock and then push the lower side of the headlight rim to a totally lock at top. Then install the two bolts that holds the headlight rim using a 4mm hex or allen key. And also don't forget to add a thread locker. And tips, apply a tape on both sides of the headlight rim to avoid scratching the paint while installing your headlight guard. Again, I apply a thread locker for my peace of mind. And then install the allen bolts using a 2mm hex wrench or allen key. And that's it. Let's remove the tape and see the real deal. Again, this is the Evotech headlight guard for my Yamaha XSR900 and uh, also I will put a link on the description of this video. Let's clean a little bit. So here you go. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified for future video. And also feel free to leave a comment down below, hit that like button and feel free to share this video. Thank you!